We are here this afternoon on account of our children. Before we look at the context of the question we are going to debate on, which is broken home, the cause, the father or the mother, it is important that we know the role of the children, the role of a child in the home. A child is a binding force in the home. And a child has a responsibility, a responsibility of bringing up the parents, creating love between the parents. And that is the binding force. But before we can have a child create such a binding force in any home, we as parents must play our role, the role that is expected of us by God Almighty, in which we are told as parents to train up a child in the way he should go. And that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. So it is expedient that the parents know their God-given responsibility, being child bearers and then being child trainers. Because when parents are focused on their responsibility, they will allow love to exude in such a home. And the children will know that where love abounds, there can be no fear. There can be no despair, but that together they would be grown, they will be taught to grow, to be nurtured up by God. So as you gather this afternoon to consider who is responsible for a broken home, it is something that we expect that at the end of the day, the viewer out there would appreciate that every child can either bring about the union of the parents by strengthening it, or the child can bring about the breaking up. How can a child strengthen the relationship between parents? By being obedient, by having the fear of God first. When a child is not fearing, that child will know that the responsibility of the parents cannot be carried out by just a mother, nor just a father, but that together they stand as a team. So when we are looking at the topic, who should be blamed? We should look inwards and know that you as children Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Cecilia E. Inyang, representing the Honorable Commissioner of Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Welfare. And now, the lead speaker from the opposing team, what's your take on the topic? Before I proceed, I find it indeed wise and appropriate for me to give honor to whom it is due. With this, I say, Good day, the moderator, panel of judges, timekeepers, my co debaters, and my wonderful and ever listening audience. I am Lucy Ignatius Sokoro, a student of the prestigious Federal Science and Technical College, Uyo. I am here to strongly support the motion that says broken homes are caused by fathers, not mothers. I and my, I and my humble speakers will buttress the motion with the following points incest, family crisis, maltreatment mismanagement of funds, shifting of position, child training, family conflict, negligence of responsibility, lack of love and care, self-esteem, superiority, nature of job, and custom and tradition, speaking of incest and family crisis. According to the Bible, it is a great abomination for a father to have coitus with his daughter. You may think this is impossible, but I tell you, it is happening. It was reported some time ago in one of the primary schools in Etinan, about an 11-year-old girl who was impregnated by her own father. Now tell me, what sort of a father would do such a thing to his own daughter? This immoral act by the father is very barbaric and can cause family breakage. I'll come to you later. We also have famous men that are we also have famous men that are involved in this broken home. We have Fred Amata, the Nigerian actor. We have Frank Idowo, the presenter of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Pastor Chris Okote, and Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Now, Pastor Chris Oyakilome's wife threatened to divorce him, and she said she could give 10 good reasons why. But the court gave her two years to have a rethink, and at the end of the given time, she came back saying the same thing. Now, this alone leaves me wondering, because if a pastor, a teacher, a counselor and a motivator could be one of those with a broken home. Then, 
fathers in general should go for serious counseling and deliverance because there's a problem somewhere. Now, all this will surely lead to a broken home. Leading me to my next point, family crisis. A man is the head of the family, and so every right that falls in the family depends on him. There are many things characterizing family crisis. We have clashing personalities, use of face instead of words, late arrival of a baby. Speaking of clashing personalities, Family members define likes, dislikes, and abilities. They also define ways they react to particular situations. For instance, a family of a father, mother, and child. The mother may decide to discipline her child, and on the other hand, the father may decide to pamper his child, especially in the case of an only male child. When this happens, we see that the child's love for his parents would deviate to being partial, and this will surely pave the way for crisis to set in. In the case where the sex of the child is not appreciated by the father, we will see crisis. We will see crisis. Come to think of it, biologically, what a man puts into a woman is what he gets. Using the computer term, giggle, that is garbage in, garbage out. So, women are not to be blamed for the sex of their children. Without meeting what I would like to say, that the actors and actresses in the movie industry have shown us all these shows by acting, or which some of you may call entertainment. But movies, in actual sense, are reality in playback. In terms of using face instead of words, men are generally known to be hot-tempered and can easily get angry. They forget that the head is, is useless without the, function of the, without the support of the neck. They turn their homes into battlefields, where the men are military men without uniforms. Their houses, military camp without battalion. Their, their houses, mili military camp without battalion. They, at the sound of the horn of their cars, the, the living room is deserted. This is because the generals, fathers in quotes, are back. All this will surely lead to a broken room. I'd like to go on, but due to time factor, I'd like to pause here and give, and give the stage for my opponents to speak. Thank you. Thank you very much. The lead speaker from the opposing team, what's your take on the topic? Mothers, mothers, mothers. I love my mother. The mother is a bedrock and foundation of a home. According to the book of Psalm, if the foundation is destroyed, what shall the righteous do? At this juncture, I first to give respect and honor to Ms. Dew, a very good deed to the chairman, the panel of ambassador judges, our great timekeeper, co debaters, and my ever attentive audience. Standing before you this day is Master Dr. Basimapan, an able ambassador of the prestigious federal government constitutional department. I'm here to vehemently oppose the motion. Fathers, broken homes caused by fathers, not mothers. Before I speak, I'd like to give a rundown of the points I and my teammates were using for the course of this debate. One, family background. Two, interesting nature of mothers. Three, breaking family ties. Four, addiction to social and mass media. Five, social status. Six, ingratitude. Seven, desperation. Eight, lack of contentment. 9. Endurance 10. Religion 11. Gossip 12. Poverty 13. Christian freedom 14. Gender equality 15. Ambition 16. Childlessness 17. Culinary skills 18. Religious beliefs 19. Nagging And lastly, lack of trust Permit to dwell on my own personal points 1. Family background The fruit is not far from the tree a lion begets a lion. How do you expect a young woman from a broken home to keep her own home where her mother broke her? But this is because she was not trained on how to keep a home due to the fact that her own mother broke her home. Second, the introverted nature of mothers. The family was known to be the smallest unit of the society. And how would you feel if in this small unit a woman creates a wall around herself because she's an introvert? If you're a husband, you come back home, you're so depressed and you want to speak with your wife and she does not want to speak to you because she's an introvert, of course you want to go outside and speak. According to Mrs. Cecilia here, she said that the child is the binding force between the parents and when the father leaves the child and goes outside to talk with the friends because the mother is an introvert, what will be the future of that child and what is the future of the family? Breaking family ties. A man marries a wife. It means the wife marries the man and his family. But some of our mothers believe that when they marry a man, they do not just marry the man's family, but they marry only the man. How would you feel if you're a man 
and the weekend your mother decides to come and spend with your family it's the weekend your wife decides to pick your children on the on the weekend to our own village of course this is so so embarrassing and on the on the traditional marriage of your sister you're supposed to be there as a couple but you go there you know, and your wife uses to follow you up this will bring about a broken home addition to social and mass media most of the mothers are fascinated by things they see on TV, like programs on telenovela, Telemundo, Nollywood, Bollywood, African magic, and the like. Some of them spend most of your time fiddling with their phones. How would you feel if you're a man, you come back home to talk with your wife, and she's not there to speak with you because she's on her phone? If you think I'm lying, I challenge all the mothers and the young ladies here to stay without having access to their phone for one day. Of course, this sounds almost impossible. And then how do you think this woman will be able to keep their home? Finally, ingratitude. Some of our mothers are so ungrateful. Imagine a man with his hard in money deciding to pick his wife on a treat to food is ready. And the answer the wife gives him is, what happened to Lomeridian? What happened to food affairs? Whatever happened to crunches? Did they close the gates or they to open it for you? The man will be so unhappy. And when the man is unhappy, there's no communication. And if there's no communication, there's no companionship. The essence of marriage is companionship. And without communication, there's no companionship. And then it means there's no marriage. I would have loved to go on and on expressing my points, but due to time factor, I will join the court in you. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that my carefully enumerated points have been able to render the facts crystal clear to you that broken homes are caused by, fa by fathers, by mothers, and not fathers. I rest my case. Interesting. Let's hear from the first supporting speaker from the proposing teams. Observing the existing order of protocol, my name is Juan Fanasi I am here to propose a motion that says, broken homes, fathers are the causes, not mothers, for the following points of mind. Maltreatment, shifting of position, mismanagement of fun, child training, custom and tradition. I buttress this motion, maltreatment. According to the Oxford Advanced Letters Dictionary of Parent English, maltreatment means putting on a cruel attitude on someone. Fathers are used to the some Fathers are used to the system of turning your wives into punching bags as if they are in the boxing ring, especially when they don't have enough resources. Please, I'll pick it later. Some of them turn, especially when they don't have enough, enough resources, some of them turn their wives to perpetual housewives. Some fathers maltreat their mothers in a lot of ways, such as restraining the mo their movement, their right to choice, their right to work even with their certificates, and, che and checking their contact in, mob in the mobile phone. Some fathers believe in the principle that says, I own you, therefore I can do anything I wish to do with you, forgetting the main fact that they only paid bread price and did not purchase them. When fathers do not shower love, care and attention on their wives, they risk the marriage because when the woman is fed up, she probably tell a friend who might end up advising her negatively. Take for instance the father who was recorded by one of the daily some time ago, who drank to stupor coming home to plug an iron to the socket as if he wanted to hire his customer's clothes since he was a laundry man. But not to his wife that he was drunk. She, she slept off with her only child. Please, I'll pick it later. She slept off with her only child. This gave the man a greater opportunity to perform his heart's desires. He carried, he unplugged the hot flint iron and pressed it on his wife's breast and strangled the two-year-old son to death. Tell me, my dear opponent, if we are this woman, what will be your next step? I need that question for you to contemplate on, leading me to my next point, mismanagement of fun. Fathers contribute greatly to broken homes, especially here in Africa. In a situation where a father, a, where a father who is known as a breadwinner earns money but does not contribute a penny to the management of the home, leaving the woman to fend the loan and try and try to make ends meet, the home is broken. Most times, if you check the bars, the number of men at the bars, party halls, party halls, nightclubs, etc., are usually are usually very high. I just wonder the money that would have been used to help and support the family or meat, drinks, and other that likes. They drink to stupor, hereby prone to performing any kind of harm to a person. Take for instance the discovery that took place when Mrs. Adebo Yega, the Commissioner of Women Affairs and Social Development of Ocean State, had a dialogue with the press. It was discovered that 80 matrimonial cases was brought to her ministry early this year, out of which 29 were 29 couples were cancelled, 23 were advised, and 28 fathers who could not reconcile with their wives agreed to pay maintenance allowances to their mothers. 
Now with this, I'll call the disjunctor to tell you that to tell you that 80 to, to tell you that about 70 percent of our uh, of our broken homes are caused by our fathers, and it takes the last straw for a man for a woman to leave her matrimonial home. Thank you. The first supporting speaker from the opposing team. I don't think you agree with that. So let's have your point. Standing on the already existing protocol, I am Miss Infonobo Lorenzo Kure. I am a representative of the renowned Federal Government College, Ikotek Bene. I will speak against the motion, broken homes are caused by fathers, not mothers. Before I proceed, I would love to define the term broken home. Broken home is a situation whereby a home is in disharmony, there is no peace, and the mother and the father lead their separate lives. The duty of managing a home lies with the mother, and in a situation where the mother mismanages the home, the home breaks down. I have my following scrutinized point to back up my view. One, endurance. Marriage has its ups and downs. But unfortunately, our mothers today lack perseverance and fail to tolerate the shortcomings of the father. The principle that marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured is imposed by mothers for their advantage. Lack of endurance can push a mother from moving from one prayer house to another. She would even go far in consulting a witch doctor, seeking for solutions to problems that is only within her power to solve. Lack of endurance opens the door to comments and advice from unqualified source. Such a home will not stand because definitely the mother will pack out of the house to live in her memory lane to religion. Mothers are naturally religious, but a mother's primary devotion is her home. Mothers spend greater percent of their time indulging in religious activities such as vigils, prayer meetings, Bible studies, choir practice at the detriment of her home. Fathers are very sensitive. They do not fail to notice this. And if a father should caution his wife, she will regard him as her enemy or as a weapon fashioned against her. Three, gossip. Marriage has its terms and conditions. Privacy is one of them. But women are gossips by nature. A mother throw caution to the wind and go ahead to divulge her family secrets at the detriment of her home. An idle woman can gossip 24 hours around the clock, paying little or no attention to her home. A classic woman gossips, but she does so through the means of social media. If a woman does so, she trips her home of its dignity and honor. Men would not love to live in a home with a mother who cannot control her tongue. Therefore, a thing goes in a in a dialect. Are we in my gossip anyway? A gossip brings trouble to herself and her home as well. I would love to go on, but time they say is not on my side. Therefore, I believe I have been able to clear all reasonable and unreasonable doubts that mothers are the cause of broken homes, not for the same. All right, we've heard from the lead speakers and the first supporting speakers. Now we we'll go on a short break. Please stay with us. It was my big sister's matriculation. Mom and dad Mom. were so proud, and the party was quite regular. <laughs> We all got a whiff of an unexpected guest. There's a rumble in my tummy going boom bada boom bada boom. It means that I am hungry and maybe time is near. I am so excited that I can hardly wait. My mouth is getting ready to sing the Mimi song. Take me, break me, any way you make me. Mimi, Lulu, Mimi, Lulu. Mimi, taste me, feel me. There's more to me. Produced by May and Baker. Welcome back. It's still growing up. For credible comments, contribution, observation, and sponsorship, you may call the number displayed on your screen, or you may like our Facebook page at www.facebook.com/growingup.debate.
I repeat www.facebook.com slash growingup.debate. Thank you very much. At this point, I'll hand it over to the panel of judges for the adjournment of the motion to be moved. You, I, I want to say that they have done very well. But um, since we are going to call for adjournment, time is against us. I want to call one of them to adjourn the motion for next week. I, Joy Basifu, from Federal Science and Technical College, hereby move the motion of adjournment. Till next week, thank you. My name is Master Michael Kingsley Daniel. I represent the Federal Government's College, Ikat Ekwene. I second the motion. Thank you. Thank you very much, our panel of judges. Our special guest, a mother in the house representing the Honorable Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Welfare. Thank you for coming. And on that note, we call you today on this week's package. I hope you had a swell time watching today's package. We are joined to next week where we shall be seeing the concluding part of the motion which says broken homes caused by fathers, not mothers. So keep a date with us, same time, same station. My name is Emma Miriam Certificate. Remember us. <laughs>